In the previous video, we saw that force that causes the flow of electron is called as voltage and flow of electron in the closed circuit is called as current. Now the question is, when current flows in the closed path, is there any opposition offered to it? And is there any relationship between the voltage and current? If you want to get the answers, watch the video. In the previous video, we have seen the details and the basics about the voltage and current. So if you haven't watched that video, I would recommend you to first watch that video and then come back to this video because it will help you to understand uh, the this video more clearly. There is a link uh, down in the description. Just click on that link and watch the vi previous video. There are some material which has electrons very tightly bounded right and because of that they don't allow the flow of electron through them or simply you can say that they offer some opposition to the flow of electron right but there are some material which has electrons loosely bounded together and they allow the flow of electron through them but they still offer some opposition to uh, that flow of electrons right and that opposition to the flow of electron offered by a conductor is nothing but called as a resistance this is a one kind of opposition which is offered by a conductor to the flow of electron now the material which offers less resistance is called as good conductor and the conductor which offers very high resistance is called as bad conductor right now this resistance depend upon four things in which first is length of the conductor right so if you increase the length of the conductor you will get more resistance and vice versa if you reduce the length of the uh, conductor you will get less resistance second is cross section area of the conductor now the question is what is cross section area because many of the students get confused in uh, you know cross section area they have used this word cross section area but they don't have any idea what is cross section area <clears throat> so to understand cross section area let's say you are having this conductor and if you see this conductor from the front side it will look like this right and this is nothing but your cross section area right and the resistance is inversely proportional to this cross section area that means if you are going to increase this cross section area your resistance is going to decrease and vice versa right next is type of conductor so if you use copper you will get res less resistance and if you use steel you will get more resistance so you know the material use make the difference and next is temperature now the big question and the interesting question is how temperature affects the resistance of material right so simply when there is an increase in temperature your material expands or you know it, it gets quenched that depend upon the material so when it expand with the with that expansion your resistance is also going to increase so if your temperature increases and the resistance of material is also increases then it is called as positive temperature coefficient because your material you know uh, reacted to the increase in temperature positively by increasing the value of its resistance right and this is called as positive temperature coefficient <coughs> and you will generally find it in conductors similarly uh, if your temperature increases and your resistance decreases then it is called as negative temperature coefficient because your material reacted to it in the negative manner to the increase in temperature it is reacted in the negative manner right and this is generally happens in the insulators so this is how the temperature affects 
and so from all of this you can make a formula for it right your r is directly proportional to the p which is nothing but the resistivity of a particular material and the length of the material and it is, r is inversely proportional to the a that is cross section area of the material so the formula we just made it is used worldwide to determine the resistance of material now let's say you are having some resistance with you but uh, this resistance are not sufficient and you want to increase your total resistance okay so simply what you will do you will connect this resistors in series and what you will get is this r plus r plus r your total resistance will increase and now uh, you found out that no this total resistance is a bit higher i want somewhat lesser so simple no issue what you will do you will connect this resistance in parallel and what you will get is this okay so that will reduce your uh, resistance if you connect your resistors in parallel and if you connected in series they will increase uh, the total resistance will increase now some people can say no i don't believe you why should i believe you is it practically possible okay i'm glad you asked so we will do a practical on this which will prove whatever we have learned is practically possible okay so let's get to the practical so this is our resistor we will uh, measure the resistance of this resistor with this multimeter so to uh, do that i will set my resistor multimeter tab on the resistance and now we will measure it and we will check uh, the resistance uh so it's coming out to be you can say 94 approximately 94 kilo ohms now what we will do we will connect two such resistors in series and we will check uh, whether this what happens with when we connected in series so here you can see the resistance has been doubled right first case it was 94 now it is coming out to be like say approx 160 so it has been double so it, that proves uh, resistance double gets double in series now we will connect it in parallel and we will measure the resistance so let's check it out there you go the resistance has been decreased right you can see so this is how uh, resistance get you know um, decreased when we connected in parallel so the conclusion is resistance adds up in series and it get reduced when it is connected in parallel so now we are going to know about the ohms law see uh, electrical engineering revolves around this basic stuff only okay like uh, resistance ohms law uh, current voltage capacitor inductor impedance and like this particular basic things and if you are clear in this particular basic thing your base is going to be strong and if your base is strong your building is definitely going to be strong okay so please watch it with the concentration because after this you are going to remember ohms law forever okay so now what happens when many of the students uh, they are asked about the ohms law what they tells that tells that v is equals to i multiplied by r is the ohms law okay fine this is the formula and which is correct but this is not the right way to tell ohms law whenever you are asked about the ohms law you should tell the statement not the formula right so what ohms told us current flowing through a closed circuit is directly proportional to the voltage applied across it provided resistance temperature and the material used remain constant okay this is the condition now we will uh, say it in the simple words what ohm told us if your voltage increases with that your current is also going to increase and vice versa if your voltage is decreases your current is also going to decrease but yes there is a but but the resistance and all the parameter which affect the resistance should remain constant right so 
after this you can tell that v is equals to i into r right now this is correct now v is your voltage i is your current flowing through the circuit and r it is resistance which should remain constant okay now this is the theory about the ohms law but uh, is it ohms true this really happens okay so to make sure we are going to do some practical so now we will watch the practical and we will confirm whether ohms law is true or not so friends it's time to check ohms law practically here we, to do that we have our load that is a 12 volt fan and in first case what we will do we will apply it with a 9 volt battery and we will measure the current flowing through this uh, at this at this particular stage uh, with this uh, you know multimeter so for that we will make our connection so there you go we have made our connections and now we will connect our multimeter in series with this circuit and we will check the current flowing through this fan when we apply it with the 9 volts so there you can see it is coming out to be approximately 0 0.06 ampere in our first case right now in our second case what we will do we will connect it with a 12 volt battery now we, we are increasing our voltage now as far as the ohms law is concerned uh, the with the increase in voltage the current should also get increased now we will check that so there you can see the current has also been increased it is now coming to be 0 0.11 ohm uh, sorry ampere so that proves the ohms law now we will check what resistance affects the circuit okay why ohm said that the resistance should remain constant now we will check with that so we have added a resistance and we will check the current now so here you can see the current is decreased somewhat so it is coming out to be 0 0.10 ampere so again we will decrease it more we have connected more two resistance in the circuit and now we will check uh, the resistance and then we will say our conclusion so there you can see it is again decreased by now it is coming out to be 0 0.09 so what I am trying to say here as your resistance get into the circuit the ohms law does not remain the same now because because of the resistance your current is decreasing so you can say that your current is inversely proportional to the resistance and this we have proved previously right so this is how the resistance affects the ohms law and our current flowing through the circuit so with this uh, i hope the concept of resistance and ohms law is clear to you guys uh, please share this video so that other people will also get help from this video you can follow us on facebook or instagram to receive our weekly updates or simply just click on the subscribe button to get the updates so thank you for watching, keep watching, keep learning.